Hi everyone, welcome to another Hatton's Model Railways live stream and welcome to part two of our Metcalf Models Castle Kits review and build. If you've not watched part one, do check it out after the stream because that goes into a lot more detail on what items are available and some of my top tips on how to construct them too. But if you've already watched it and you can't wait for part two, sit down and let's have a look closer at some of the items we've got here. Whilst I've been off the air, I've built a few more items up from the range that we can see here. So I'll be showing you how the different modules fit together, as well as some great opportunities and options and inspiration to fit some of these kits onto your layout. If you want to put these onto your layout, you can check the link in the description right now where we have all the different kits available. I will just give you a quick recap of the different items that we have too. Otherwise, if you've got any questions, please do add them in the stream and I'll answer as many as I can throughout the show. So just a real quick recap of the items that you can get. These are all available right now from our website for the modular castle kit. This is double O gauge, but it is coming in N gauge in 2021. So if you are an N gauge modeler and you're really inspired by this, keep an eye on our website for more information. This is the castle gatehouse kit. Heading over to the smaller watchtower kit. Now, all of these are made from card and they are really easy to put together. As mentioned, if you want some information on how to do that, check out part one of this video, which is on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Just show you some of the different modules that you can get there. Finally, the castle hall, which I've built up in front of me here. And you can create something like this, should you wish. But the best part about the modules is the fact that you can have as many or as few as you like. So I'll show you some of the finer details that we've got here. I've took some rather cruel close-ups of these kits that I've built. I've put together some more details on them over the last couple of hours. And I just want to show you that you can get a really great amount of detail on these kits. So I'll just swap you over to the camera here. Because what I want to show you is how the modules do sit together. It's really as easy. As you can see, there's a little lip on the edge there of the tower slot that into the wall and it sits there absolutely beautifully and flush against the wall as you can see so that works for all the wall pieces so if you're building up a certain size wall or a certain shape wall they do just sit next to each other and then you can build them up module to module to module as you require if you're putting them in permanently, you can then glue them up to each other for a more permanent join. And just making sure when you do build them, you get the stonework the right way up so it matches all the way along. But otherwise, then you join them together and together and together in whatever shape that you require. So you can then glue them as well if you want a more permanent finish. And you can just see there, again, on the inside, we've got all the detailing in there for them to join up with the paving and the tops too. So I'll just put those back. I'll show you some of those close-ups that I mentioned. That is a close-up of the join between the tower and some of the walling. You can see, again, that step effect that you have got there. So you can really join these together. They do sit quite flush. Obviously, you've got to build them as straight as possible to get them as flush as possible, but it's really easy to do. You can get jigs and different items available to do that, and they do come with the kit. Yes, Captain, they, there is an Engage version of these kits coming out in the new year, so keep an eye on our website for more information on that one. We've not got any prices yet, but as soon as we do, we'll be featuring it on there too. I imagine the construction of this kit will be very similar, so do watch parts one and part two of this video. I just wanna show you again, from the first half of this video, I mentioned the opening doors and the 3D door effect. This is a close up of the castle that I've got in front of me. I took this quick photo just before we went on air. So you can see there you've got a fully posable door and indeed the 3D effect with the entranceway there, very very often seen on older buildings such as this. And a really nice effect that's quite easy to build up to. One last thing I want to show you in close up is the quality of the glazing and the windows too. Again, this is built up in a couple of different layers. 
but you can get a really nice effect on there with the laser cut parts and the card parts too. It has that good 3D effect. You can certainly see that on the left on the bits where the light's bouncing off. But at the same time, it's not a completely flat finish on this model. It's anything but a flat finish, as you can see here. So all the different modules, they're really light too because they're only made of card, although they are sturdy. As we mentioned in the first half, we've got the support structure inside providing the full support for these models. One thing you can do as well is have a look at that link in the description. If you look on our product listings, we've got pictures of the buildings built up. We've got pictures of what you get in the kit. And we've also got pictures of the footprints of each building too. So you'll be able to see the size and the measurements that they come to. If you're planning them into your layout or if you're putting them into a certain space, you can either print that off or you can get your ruler out and measure the area that the castle will sit in before you buy the castle to make sure you are getting all the bits you need to fill up the exact space. So again, I'll just show you one quick go again of how the different modules can sit together. And we've got our castle hall here. Just again, showing you some of the window quality that you've got there. And even if you just wanted to replicate this as part of a, a wall that went up to it, you could put a door in there if you want, or you could just have the wall going straight away from that there. And just putting in our wall corner just as we head off the sink, and then joining them together to be really flush. We can put our tower on the end if we wanted. And you can really see there's limitless options for this. It's not just castles you can build with this. It's manor houses, it's different walls, it's city walls, it's all that sort of thing. Any old-fashioned stone-built structure can be created with the kits that we have here. And due to the modular nature, there's infinite designs. There's 45 and 90 degree curves that we see here three different lengths of straight walling and there are wall end pieces too because sometimes walls do just stop really they don't always have to go in a circle or build up into another item so i thought i would give you some inspiration because we've all seen castles they're around they're about but you can use this for so much more and i want to show you some of the areas where they do link in with railways across the uk to give you some great inspiration to get one of these onto your layout. And this has got a bit of one that we're all thinking of. A little castle hidden away in the back scene of our layout, maybe a corner that you've got to fill on a track or some info, a little bit of space in there. And you can see this is just a small structure down in South Wales, I believe, with two towers there. So not too big. You could probably build that from the castle hall kit that we do have available or something very similar. It's not that big a structure hidden away there in the trees. So if you wanted an entry level castle on your layout or you didn't want to build too much, that may be something for you to take a look at. But then there are far larger castles out there too, a lot of which come close to some of the railways that we see in the UK. And if we take a look at this one, it's quite a famous one that I will put up on the screen for you now. This is Harlick Castle in North Wales. You can see it there right on the top of the hill standing over the station so this would be fantastic as part of a back scene or maybe at the end of a layout or even as part of a low relief castle maybe you just want to build up some of the walls and put them against your back scene as part of the building that you can see here so this one does dominate the skyline that we can see here and that's certainly possible with these items that we have in front of us too so we've got castles next to railways what about castles combined with railways now again this is something that a lot of you will have seen some examples of but i do want to show you some more that you may not be as aware of we've all probably heard and seen conway castle in north wales and the walls to the town actually built at a similar time of the castle were adapted in the victorian era to have the railway run through them. The Victorians did modify a lot of old structures during their railway building process. And you can see that the medieval town walls here have been modified to allow the railway to run through them. So you can see the gateway there. This may be an enhancement of the gatehouse kit 
or indeed you can buy the separate card packs too if you did want to build something a little more individual to take a double track railway through. Whilst we're in Conway, we can also head over to the two bridges east of the castle. Built at the same time as the railway, these were built in a similar style to the castle with the castellated walls and edges. And this shows you don't need to model a castle to bring a castle onto your layout. This is something that's built in the style of a castle with several other buildings in the 17th and 18th centuries built in this style, such as Follies and the bridge that you see here with the road bridge, the suspension bridge on the left, and the railway bridge with the iron sheeting surrounding it on the right. So that would be great for you scratch builders out there, maybe buying some of the iron sheet from us and building some of the castle parts, maybe the walls and the watchtowers to recreate a bridge such as that. One more for you, heading back to that sort of era, and this is York. This is the original railway station in York, other than the one that we know today. This actually, again, ran through the walls that were built several hundred years earlier. So this is a great option to use the walls as maybe a back scene or a scenic break if you're building an exhibition layout. They're a great option or a difference to a footbridge or a road bridge. You can indeed have these old style castellated walls as you see here. And these really do have a similar thinness to the walls that we have right here in front of us so building an arch in that maybe using the kits that we mentioned and having a locomotive such as our p-class heading under that on a service in the victorian or edwardian era really can be recreated similar to the image that we saw there on the screen i'll just pull that up for you one more time so you can get a closer look and you can see that there really isn't much difference between the height there of the locomotive and the castle and the city walls of York. So that's an opportunity. I think that's the one I'll be trying, if I'm perfectly honest. I'll be looking at ways to incorporate that into a scenic break or the edge of a layout. And it shows you that although they are advertised as castle kits, we've made a big thing of them being recreated as castles. Even Metcalf have put castle in big letters on the packaging, but there is so much more you can do with these items. We have a country house here, we have city walls, we have Victorian follies. Just have a look at some of the inspiration out there for the different opportunities that you can use with these kits. But let's not overlook the main option too. Of course, the most important part for a castle kit is to recreate a castle. As we see here at Corfe Castle on the Swanage Railway, in preservation you can modify these kits I believe richard's asked that in the chat there with them being card you can chop and change them a little bit and them being modular too you can amend them to different designs you can cut away or add some further detailing and choose different places to put it if you did want to really start scratch building with your castle kits as we mentioned previously we do sell this pack of additional stone sheeting, which you can use. This is around six or so A4 sheets of the same textured card that you get in the castles. So you can really start to build your own shapes, designs and other modules too. But they really are right for some customization. I've built these exactly to the letter. And if you are a beginner in card modeling, I would recommend following those easy and simple instructions to build something along the lines of this. But at the same time, if you did want to get a bit more adventurous or get something that sat on your layout absolutely perfectly, you can go off the instructions. You can leave the instructions behind and start to modify these kits for more of your individual purpose. But I really hope you've seen some of the opportunities that are available with these kits. There's some great inspiration out there, whether you want to model a traditional castle, as we saw at Harlick in North Wales, or really entwine it with your model railway, as we saw at Conway, and also at the original steam railway station in York too. There's some really good opportunities to feature these on your layout and add the items there too so peter these are double o scale models they won't look too different in ho scale the scales aren't that different so you may find a suitable for a ho scale model too 
If you're an Engage modeler, they are coming out in early 2021 and we'll have more information on those very soon indeed. Again, with some guides on how to build them and how to put them together. But if you're inspired by this, do take a look at the first part of the two-part video, which is available now on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, which will share you some of the top tips on how to put these together and the different skills you will need to build card kits such as these. We have even more photos on our website, so check that link in the description for more information. We have the building footprints in there too, so you know what sizes are going to be on your individual layouts. You can see just where you can squeeze one in, maybe on that new baseboard or that new project you started over the winter. And of course, the most important thing, they're all available now too. If you check that link again, all the current stock levels are there. They're selling really, really fast, so we might not have stock every single moment of every single day but rest assured we are doing our best as our Metcalf models to make sure as much of these are available at the moment there's many of you already out there picking up your kits and getting started with building castles and follies and walls onto your layout so I hope you've enjoyed both of these sessions if there's anything more you'd like to learn about these kits please do leave a comment on the video or get in touch with our customer experience team who would be more than happy to help and give you some guidance on the possibilities with these kits. Again, do check out part one if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the science behind putting them together. And if you want to see some more of the opportunities in including them on your layout, check back through this video and I'll show you some more of the images just before we go off uh, at the end of the stream too. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and Facebook page and subscribe and like to them both for more Model Railway news, the skills cast sessions such as these, and all the latest products and special offers that we have at the moment too. And of course, the great part of our website we have available right now lists all those offers and Model Railway news too. So make sure to head over to hattons.co.uk. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. I'll show you some more of those inspirational pictures and the close-ups of the kits. But if you've got any more questions, leave them below, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.